Alright guys, I'm gonna show you how to get overpowered early in the game, a few hours in the game, um, in Kingdoms of Amalur, Rear Reckoning. Now this isn't the very beginning of the game, this is right out of the tutorial dungeon, the game's test. Um, so dude, we're gonna need to start off with two things. We're gonna do a few glitches, um, in the very beginning of the area, and then we're gonna have this area unlocked, and then we're gonna have Iten, a town over here, unlocked. And then we're gonna come all the way over here. This should take about an hour, but I'm only gonna do a little bit of this first for part one. So, what you're gonna do is you're gonna like Everyone you're gonna grab a lot back. of items from the, the chest right here. When you're crowding so close. So, Go I suggest only grabbing the armor. And whatever, just hit the take all button. Never mind. Um, and some of them are gonna be you can only sell for zero. Um. But I'm sure some of them will be fine. It don't matter. You just want around 12k. You're gonna come right back into the end. I made a video about how to level up fast early in the game. But if you do that, all the enemies are gonna be so much stronger than you know one shot you. So we're only gonna do this a few times to level up to level 10. That's what we want. Level 10. Okay. Nope, wrong person. Need something? Come in. Stop so, around. Just sell everything. Nah, I'm sorry for the voice delay again. See what I mean? Some of that is zero. But you just want around 10k, 12k, just make it easier on you. Um. Keep some armor. Because we're gonna have to run through the area. Uh, do I have an inferno set or Dax? I sell that all. Let me rebuy that. Hold on. You can easily, if you actually sell something, you can easily just go rebuy it, it's no big deal. If you come to sold items, just go down, get the stuff you want. Um, it doesn't matter, you're gonna get infinite money for doing this glitch. Um, oh well, you get it for free anyway. There you go. Alright. So now that we have that, oh, hold on. Here in a second. Oh, I'm gonna go sell that too. Just because you want you don't want too many items in your storage. So you could sell these. Yeah, what can I get? I suggest keeping the lock picks and all that crap. Um Did I sell everything? Yep, you're out. You're out. Okay, that's perfect. Now you wanna come over here. And you wanna go talk to the man drinking. You just wanna buy any of these. Any of these are fine. Just take a look. Make sure you buy one. Now you got it. Uh, you got this. So you wanna sell that back to him. And you wanna buy max. You're gonna be able to buy it back for only one penny, a one dollar, one whatever, which is awesome. Cause you know what's awesome about that? We're gonna rob this guy and sell it back to a normal price. Now we're gonna do that multiple times because we're gonna need a lot of gold to do this to get overpowered early now this set will be able to last you the entire game so you you can um oh and if you want to just do it again to scroll all the way back down to the one that you can buy for one cent and fill back up now for this armor you're actually gonna be able to last the entire game with this armor set Sell it all back to him. No, you, you, you want about 200k. I mean, yeah, about 200k. It doesn't matter what class you start off as either. It, it's just... You, as long as you're level 10 and you have a certain amount of... Uh... What is it called? A certain amount of dispelling. Not dispelling, what is it? Give me one moment. Certain amount of sagecraft. I don't know what. A certain amount of sagecraft and blacksmithing. Okay. Now, after we have our amount of gold, I mean, might as well equip your. 
armor. Now you're gonna go grab your weapon of choice, and you're gonna go grab the fate potion. The, the, the elixir of inspiration. You want that. That's gonna be what levels you up. Actually, don't bother with the weapon. You can actually go buy a rare weapon. So. Yeah, you shouldn't bother about it. Alright. Oh, hold on. I'm playing some very hard. Alright. So, you take your item. Inspiration. The, the rod and the compass of fate. Uh, don't pick up any of the weapons, it's kind of worthless. Enter back in the building. Uh, I'm sorry that my my game is going to take a little bit longer to load. Sorry about that. It, I have the very first edition Xbox, so it's going to take a little bit. Okay. Uh, not training. Hey there. As owner and proprietor, I am always You want to sell to the around. elixir of inspiration. Yeah. Alright. Now, you want to go back to bought items. Sold, sold items. Sorry. And you want to buy 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And you're going to sell 10 back to them. You're going to go down. And buy 10 repeatedly. That's just going to save time. Now, you only want to be level around level 10. So you don't need all that much. Um, and I suggest you save 10. Save 10. So you can do this glitch infinite amount of time. Actually, uh, put it, map it in your, this thing, I don't know what it's called. And just use it until you are level 10. back over here and whatever one you want to buy whatever item you want to be uh take a look and let's see we'll just total with the win now that's stupid let me know if you'd like to purchase anything uh, that's dumb well now you can go just do that again and just do the glitch get more money because i know for you guys won't have as much money so whatever just I, I was gonna use whatever weapon he gave me, but this weapons are this weapons kind of dumb. So okay, sell all back. Now, the higher your level, the the more gold you're gonna get. There's also the more gold you have to spend to get the items. Okay, perfect. Level up. There. I believe that is all you need. I believe. No. You want to level up three more times. I'm just going to put it on my... So level up three more times. Remember, keep ten so you can do the glitch over and over again. All right. All right. So now level up. There we go. Yeah. 
Uh, you can go back and buy your weapon back, buy a weapon of choice back. Uh, I'm gonna go buy... I don't know what weapon I want. Did I not sell any weapons? I guess I didn't. <laughs> Alright, well. Buy whatever weapon you want. Make sure you have a decent weapon. Can I get you? Stick around. Now, so there's gonna be a place we wanna go to sunset camp. Or sunrise, sunset, I don't know which one it is. I'm going to show you guys a little tip with if you guys are using a, a slow weapon. So I'm playing very hard, so it's going to hurt a little. Uh, okay. Now just play through the game. Go to the, the marker. Now be warned, I am doing this on very hard difficulty and I'm a high level. So I'm doing next to no damage, but they're going to be doing a lot of damage to me. So I'm mainly going to be running past everything. I'm doing this to prove to you that this build it will be a monster. So a little tip if you're using a slow weapon, the second you hit them, push block and you can just roll out and you won't be hitting them. Very fast and good tip. As you'll see me do. Oh, I already did it. Okay. Right. Actually. We can actually do this without even doing the first quest. Oh, this is gonna be hard. It's wolves. Now just be careful, cause. Oh, and I also suggest discovering as many um locations as possible. We might be coming back here, cause this will be part one. So, uh, I may discover a few new things. Oh, and the reason why I did Might, um, for the spell that is on my hands right now, it increases damage. In my opinion, it is one of the best spells. It's a continuous spell, you, it only stops if you take it off. Sure, it's right here. Yeah, pretty sure. Not right here. Um, sunset camp should be over here. I'm sorry, but there's. I don't know why I couldn't set a waypoint. Uh, that's all right. Good day. It's a lore stone right there if you want. I already have all the achievements in the game, so that's pretty cool. Now, I'm having trouble finding out where to. Okay, whatever. 
The only reason why you need to discover the sunset in this fruit beds, but you, you'll be able to find another one. Oh, wait, it's just right over here. Perfect. Alright, so I can't, I almost lost it. I don't want to think you've stumbled on our camp, but okay. We're just gonna keep running. We're gonna discover an area right here, right here. And buy a few items, and I'll probably be it for today. So wait for it. It's weird. These guys. This armor looks really cool, I don't know. <laughs> Just me thinks that I guess. Oh shit! Yeah, you see what I mean? They do a lot of damage. I'm playing on very hard difficulty. Just to prove to these guys. Oh uh, yeah, that's just where you guys are gonna hear a delay right there probably. So I don't know why I did that turn around. It's taking forever for it to load. There, okay. Here's the town. We're gonna be, we're not gonna be spending a lot of time here, but certainly a good amount. There's two lore stones here, I believe. Yep, one right there. And there should be one. Nope, just that. All right. Coming to the very first building to the left. This man? No. You can't buy the greater experience. Uh, that'd be awesome. Increases. Uh, hold on. I might have found the wrong guy. Huh. Oh my. Nope, I didn't. There we go. Perfect. So, buy all five of those potions I just bought. The jeweled Charlie's or whatever. You're gonna need that. Now, where's another one? Just text hidden. Okay. Think that was it. There. Perfect. I offer some. Very well. So that's gonna make us, um,. Craft very powerful potions. Not potions. Enchant very powerful gear. Now with this build, you should be dealing around 2k damage. With just like a bow or anything. It's very overpowered. Very good. I'm doing it from the very start uncut. So you guys can see that it's very overpowered. Alright. Now, enemies towards the end would probably one-shot you, just being 
if, you, if you're a finesse build or a mage build, they'll most likely one-shot you. So make sure you're safe. Well, be careful. Yeah, look at that little damage I do. Sorry, I keep checking my map. <laughs> I don't know why it's not letting me set waypoints, so... Little markers, see where I'm going, but it's kind of annoying. Now, I am um, a might build right now. You guys can do whatever build you want. Don't, you know, it's don't have to only follow the steps I'm doing to get to the area. Don't, you guys do not have to be the exact same build as me. I'm probably not even going to be a real build. It's just going to be a might build. And this discovering locations on the way. They might come back for their smithing gear. Because so I know there's going to be an area way down here. Ah, uh, right here, we're gonna need to come. Yep. Right here. There we go. Uh, yeah, so we'd probably have to... We're, that's another reason why I discovered Star Camp. So there's a straight line over there. It's a straight line. Alright. I'm gonna call it a day right when I reach the big city of the game. Alright, these guys might throw spears, so make sure you dodge just like that. Just like how I did it. Alright, here, yeah, you can see the big city. Very weirdly designed. Also, these guys will one shot you no matter what build you're in, so. Now the way I'm taking to get to the this, the big ass city, I don't know if it's the fastest way, as long as you're there. So now the lower stone. I suggest discovering all those locations that I've discovered just because we don't, I don't know, I might have to come back. And discover a few things I don't know I, I could be wrong in a few places so I we could actually have to come back so just play safe go to those locations I'll be fine it'll all be fine <laughs> Be careful, these guys have a lot of range attacks. Never never mind. I guess they don't. Or they just don't want to use it on me. Same difference. Same thing. I don't know if that's the same difference. Ah, I'm not too good.
Now, I suggest coming around to this location. Oh, hold on. Around over here. Because star, um, another star camp will be there. I know you're going to have a few items we're going to buy. I think these guys will one shot you, but they will really hurt you. Might be a little late to say this, but um, make sure you do that glitch with potions too, so you have a lot of them. I was only able to survive one because I had those potions. That one time I was hit, so just make sure you have potions. All right. There we go. We're at the big city. Well, yeah, we're there. Just about. Got another star camp, I believe. Or, I think, it's moon camp, of course. Oh yeah, that's a big cutscene you're gonna have to watch. Come into nope, not here, not there. I'm sorry. Right here. Students of magic, masters of spells. Okay. Talk to this guy. So I wasn't paying attention. Don't go right there. There's gonna be a few items you're gonna need. If you want general Buy one of these. Buy all three of them, I'm sorry. Buy all three of the magic. And the protection. Alright. Now come back. Oh, you can't sell them back to him. All right, you're gonna leave. Roll goods. You should speak. So long. You're just gonna leave, warp to star camp, and then there's gonna be a bed there, and you're gonna need to sleep for 10 days. Oh, it just spawned you right here. I think you need to leave this location, this this way, to get to the bed. I mean, there might be a bed in there, I don't really know. Uh, I just know there's a bed over here.
just give me one moment to find to remember where the bed is. Pretty sure. So now there's a bed over here somewhere. Where's the bed? I could have sworn there was one over here. Am I going crazy? I could have sworn there was a bed. On the other side. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, so actually while we bought that, uh, if there's no bed over here that I can use, is the bed I can use now? Bed I can use now. No. I can't use these beds. I have spent my years and let your steps fall silently. Oh. Alright. Train stealth on each stealth. Okay. I'm just gonna explore a little bit, see if there's a bed I can use here. No, no. Doesn't seem like it. Alright, well, in the next part, I will... We're just gonna go travel to the other other place, because I know for a fact there's a bed here. I'll just kind of rely on my dumb memory to remember if there was a bed over here. I guess I kind of told myself there was a bed right there. Um, but that's all right. We we bought the thing there. We got the big city. We we're gonna go find a bed. We're gonna go find a merchant right next to it that sells what we need. So that's fine. It's all right. That's no big deal. <gasps> no 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 no. There is a bed right here. <laughs> Oh my god, I did remember. I knew it. Alright, sleep for 10 days. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Alright, there's going to be a voice delay, so I'm probably going to finish way before I actually did. Alright, so now that we go had that, let's go back and warp back over to Fear. He should have the items we bought. Okay, nice. Looking Get for pristine physical, magic, as well as protection. All right. Now, this is a part. Oh, I'm talking to him again. Gems or shards. So long. Craft. Okay. 
Level eight. You're welcome so long. Alright, cool. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna drink a potion. The potion that the jewel Shalila or whatever they're called. You're gonna go into the board, you go to Epic Gems, and you're gonna do two pristine physical. It's gonna be gem with a subjugator. Firm. There. And now you're gonna craft um utility gems. Oops. Oh, what was it? Give me one moment. I am trying to exactly remember. Could be this. I could have sworn it was more. Don't make anything yet. Come back out. We're going to go sleep for 10 days again. Oh, <laughs> I see what it is. I didn't have a pristine. They were, they both weren't pristine. They both needed to be pristine. Okay, we're going to go back. We're going to sleep for 10 days anyway. Now we want to leave out this way. Oops, sorry I wasn't paying attention. Alright, just gonna go back and go sleep for another 10 days. I'm gonna count probably a lot faster than the video actually registers, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Back to Rathir. He's gonna buy the exact same items again. Alrighty. Now instead of actually, we're gonna go take a left and we're gonna enter the first building to the left first. We're gonna actually buy the items we need to make the armor we're gonna have. Now you can have any weapon you want. I suggest the daggers or the sword since they're fast. Um, so grab the, just grab Six. these three items. The re leather brace, chest piece, and the leather headgear. And you grab the guard. What is this? Grab all of those. Let's 
just gonna give a quick check, see if I'm missing anything. Alright. Grab the lightning damage, grab all three, just in case. Alright. Now this is where we might be a little sh uh, short. You can buy any of these. Okay, right, wait, 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 nope. Fifth cider, I told so long. All right. There we go. I'll sell you what. All right, buy all four of those. I actually don't need to buy all four. I just like to buy them all, just so I know I have them. All right, I suggest grabbing the small as their right blades. By one, you don't need any more. Doesn't have anything for the bow, so buy one of the bows if they have any. All right. Pence, but come see me again. If they don't have a bow, it's no big deal. Gonna go back to that same building. Curios tap. Let's go buy these same exact items. I have jet. And shards of hit weapon by. gems and you're just gonna oh I messed up strength and shards that's no big deal oh, I hope I didn't mess that up I don't think I did I think I'm fine utility do pristine magic and it's pristine there we go gem of radiance make as many of those as you can I suggest at least six That's all you'll need. Those are the only gems you're gonna need. Oh, excuse me. You have come to so obviously, you I'm sure you can tell by now, the build is only gonna be very, very overpowered during the daytime. To where it could be doing 5k, 8k, maybe 2k damage in the daytime. I know that's a big difference. Nighttime, you're gonna be doing pitiful damage probably. But that's okay. Daytime, it's easy to always stay in daytime. So I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna warp at Star Camp, and then in the final part, part two, that's when we'll finish it back up. All right. I'm assuming next part will be around 30, maybe 40 minutes, depending on how fast I am. I do have to do a little bit more research just to make sure I'm doing it right. I know for a fact that I did everything right up until now. So don't worry. All right, guys. We're going to go leave the same long area. We don't need to sleep, which is cool. But in the next area, we're going to have to be careful again. We will be one shot. Now, before I end the video, I'm going to show you guys where we're going to go. So, and this is all before the first quest. This is all before the fir very first minigame quest, too, so this is awesome. Okay. We're going to come right here. That's where we want to be. Right there. So, uh, we're going to do a straight line from all the way to Star Camp. We're gonna be back there and then right over here where we were just were right here 
Because that's where we're going to end the build off. Right there. So we're going to end the build off. That's also where we test where to build. Like where it's at and what we need to improve on. So, this is it. That's the end. Uh, part 2 will be up hopefully pretty soon. Maybe tomorrow. Um, maybe at the end of today. I don't know. Pretty soon. Bye-bye.